Welcome everyone! In today's video, I would like to showcase just how much gold you can make by staying in a specific zone which has a lot of rares, which drop pets and toys, which you can sell for a lot of gold on the auction house. The zone in question is the Zaralek Cavern from Dragonflight, so let's see what lies in store. A quick disclaimer. I want to show you just the pets and toys you can sell on the auction house, so rares like Invoke will not be mentioned in this video. To be fair, he is the only exception. Also a quick note that not all of the rares can spawn every day. You see, Zaralek Cavern is divided into three zones, which can be seen on the screen now. Every day, four zones are active, whilst the fifth zone will be inactive. You can tell if the zone is active based on many things, such as the small activities that happen in the zone, world quests and rares spawning. Also, because the zone Caldera to the left is always active, the rares there will always spawn. The other zones follow the counterclockwise rotation for which zone is inactive for the day. We will also show the rares going counterclockwise starting from zone 1, which is Caldera. So in Caldera there is just one rare you want to look out for, and that is Din. Din is also the only rare that drops a toy from this zone, which can also be sold on the auction house. I have sold around 3 of these toys already, so if you are in doubt that these would ever sell, trust me, they do and for a good amount. The toy in question is Din's drum. From my sales, I mostly sold them on average for around 50,000 gold each, and the drop chance of this toy dropping is around 7%, which is not bad. The next zone in line is Glimmer Rock. Here there are three rares you want to look out for. The first one is Brulo the Strong, which drops a pet named Brul. There is a theory on how to get this pet though, and that is that when opening the chest, you have to be under the buff of a certain item called Rocks on the Rocks. This is a cooking item which the recipe of can drop from, you guessed it, Brulo the Strong. You can also buy it from the auction house, or you can use the toy Portable Party Planner and click on the Rocks on the Rocks food option. However, this is just a comment, although a highly uploaded comment on Wowhead. Some people say that it doesn't matter, but when I opened the chest many times before, I didn't get the pet. But when I was under the buff and opened the chest, I got it on the first try. So maybe I was just lucky. And the drop chance is around 3%. The next rare in this zone is Karakta, which drops the rigid shalewing pet and a mount called Cobal Shalewing. Nothing special here, just go in, kill the rare and have a chance of getting any of the two collectibles mentioned. The pet has around 5% drop chance and the mount has around 0.7% drop chance. And the last rare from this zone is called Aquafon, which again is just go in, kill, loot and pray. The pet from this rare is called Aquapo and has around 5% drop chance. The next zone is called Nalk Skull, which doesn't have any rares that drop pets or toys, so we just skip this one. After that is the zone Loam, which has three rares you want to look out for. The first one being the Underlight Queen. This rare drops a pet called Teardrop Moth and has around 5% drop chance. The next rare is called Cabrock, which can drop three pets. The Rigid Shalewing, again, Skarn, and Salvron. However, Salvron is a bit different, but you cannot sell this, so it's just for collection purposes only, and as I already mentioned, I want to show you only the pets you can sell on the auction house, so we can skip this one. The drop chance of Skarn is around 5%, and the same goes for the Rigid Shalewing. And the last rare from this zone is Clack Attack, which doesn't drop a pet, but an item which can grant you multiple of the same pet. This single rare granted me so much gold, it should be illegal. It's very much free gold. This is how it works. The rare drops an item called the Clacking Claw. It almost always drops. When you use this item, you transform into a Makrura for 10 minutes. While you're in this form, you can click on a certain NPC which can be spotted in 5 random spots. The NPC in question is the Curious Top Hat. 
My strategy for this is to have one of your old characters always in the zone while having multiple clamoring claws. You see, when you look out, the buff persists. So when you log out, when the buff has 8 minutes remaining and you log back in in 3 hours, the buff will still have 8 minutes remaining. By this, you can get around 6 pets, but let me explain how to get them. So the curious top hat can spawn at 5 different spots, which I will leave a tom tom commands of in the description. And you can also see them on the screen right now. Once you see the curious top hat, don't go near it. First, Use the clamoring claw and then go near it, click on it, and you will get a pet called Lord Stanley. Then you quickly log out and repeat the process over and over. Also, the clamoring claw can be bought from the auction house for a small amount of gold. And when you take into consideration that you can buy the item for 1000 gold, from which you gained like 6 pets that sell for around 7000 gold each, you can see where I'm going. This is basically flipping but you always sell the item. This pet really sells, trust me. And from the last zone there are no rares that drop pets or toys you can sell, so this was the last one. Since you are all here for the gold, here are the prices of the pets and the toy on the auction house, both for EU and US realms. Thank you all so much for watching the video, like it if you liked it, and I always appreciate the subscribe button clickers as well. Good luck on your pet and toy farm, and I'll see you all in the next one. Later!